This is the most beautiful golf course on planet Earth. This is also probably the first time all 18 holes have been shown on YouTube. This is every shot of my round at the phenomenal Cabot St. Lucia. Just look at how incredibly stunning this place is. It really is epic. Just like this. All right, here we go then. Here's my caddy Wendell for the first time. What an amazing human being he was. Gentle par five to start. That's a hybrid off the tee if you can believe it. But there's a ditch at 280 that you don't want to go into. And the ball runs for days and it's downwind. Full set of tailor maids in the bag. Stealth 2 Woods, P790 irons and a Spider GTX putter. Which is right up my street. Six iron in then. Huge gaping bunker at the front that you don't want to go in. Hence the pull left there. But that'll be fine. Just a chip on hopefully. Huge slope behind this flag. So I don't need to get too cute with this. 60 degree up. Got my line a tiny bit wrong though and it's dribbled out to the right. Here's Wendell giving me the pro read. He knows much better than I do. Here we go then. What a start this would be. Not to be this time, but a solid par to begin things. Let's move to hole two then. Long par four into the wind and it's only eight yards shorter than the first hole. Out comes the chief in that case. And if I do say so myself, that's a snorter down the middle. Still going to have a long way in though. Wendell's happy, love to see that. And our first look at some liquid sunshine, which was rare in St. Lucia. Don't often get this in the Caribbean. Another six iron though. Trying to keep this under the wind. Wendell's loving it. Landed short. Great for line, but just dribbled all the way to the back of the green. Some glimpses of the sea in the background. What a spectacular view. Wendell said it was going to be a right lip put this, but I didn't listen. Also bombed it through there, and I've been left with this for par. This to stay level. Just dripped it in the front door. Happy with that. And we'll move to three. Another par five, but much tighter looking tee shot this time. Although a lot of the fairway is blocked out by the mound on the right. That started a long way left of where I was actually aiming. But it'll turn out just fine. It was very low and healy. Not upset with it though, just crept into the rough. And we're downwind now for the second shot. Dell told me, don't aim at the flag, actually aim left of that green side bunker. This is 8 iron, expecting a flyer. I've gone straight at it, albeit accidentally. That's also landed short of the green, but it's bounded through and into the one place I was told never to go. And here we're now trying to decide whether it's a lob wedge or a putter. Out of the bunker, opted for putter from the down slope. Made an absolute meal of that, so I've gone for the lob wedge this time. No green to work with. Oh dear. Sculled that into the other bunker, and on top of that I've copped some abuse from my mum. Classic. Now we're in real danger of making a mess. I actually thought I'd played a blinder initially. But now my reaction says otherwise, I'm back where it all began putting again that's not great and now this is to save double bogey and I've actually done a decent job of salvaging a seven there we're just going to move on spectacular looking downhill par three 
You just cannot miss left, which is what Dell's just told me. That was a nine iron. Anywhere right of this green should feed down. And that's exactly what I've played for. It's rolling down. Wendell thinks it's brilliant, but it has just scooted on a little bit. Now we've got a horrid left to right downhill slider. Just looking to cosy this up tight, please. Wouldn't mind a tapping, but that's got to go. Not bad. Little bit of work left, but should be all right to tap home. Please. Ah. Compounding errors, I see. But never mind. A lot of golf still to be played. And look at that view. Things are really starting to shape up now. Massively downhill, this hole. Opted for the three wood here just to get into position short of that bunker in the fairway. But I've tugged it left behind that massive mound and native area. Not sure what's happened to that. So out comes the provisional ball just in case. That was a much better swing. High draw straight down the middle. Fortunately though, my ball was almost right next to my provisional ball so doesn't matter how you do it and suddenly we have a real opportunity here short iron 50 degree to be exact front pin looks good in the air and yes happy with that thought it might dribble back off the false front but it didn't and now we have a makeable chance or i say that but it's lightning fast and left to right. Not one to be aggressive with. And that was hard to watch if I'm honest. Wasn't expecting to have work left for the four, but I've poured it in nonetheless. And we finally got off the bogey train. And there is the ocean. Honestly, the golf has just come in secondary to the views here and just being here honestly what a golf hole you might have seen i just hit driver there that was a mistake yeah, that's not what I I just pile driven that <laughs> straight into the deepest bunker i've ever seen i'm six foot and i look tiny in there that was a lob wedge only 83 yards to that pin but no chance of me getting there just happy to get out so suddenly we're in a bit of bother. Need a good putt here to get up and down for par. And that was half a job. Great line only. Wendell telling me it's just inside right, so let's go with that. But that was weak, and suddenly that train we got off early, we've just crawled back onto. But it doesn't matter. Look at this. And this hole doesn't even get into the top five on the golf course. And I'm not joking. Into the wind. That's a flighted wedge. Nothing for left here. So I've opted to miss it 15 feet right. A very solid shot. I'm happy to be on the green. And surely I can't make a mess of this. Let's try and watch the golf. And not just stare at that incredible vista behind me. A lot of right to left. Bang. First birdie of the day and everyone's elated. Especially me. Could not be happier. And that just sums up Wendell. He was as happy as I was. What a fantastic human being. And what a fantastic hole to follow. Almost drivable. Definitely had to factor in the fact that I didn't want to go left for obvious reasons. But it's nevertheless one of the most beautiful things I think I've ever seen. Never mind on a golf course. And that was a pretty good drive as well. I was nervous over that. Last thing you want to do on video is deposit it into the ocean. I'm on your left of screen here though, short right of the flag. Huge Mackenzie on the green here that I'm using to my advantage. Nice 
and I'm absolutely delighted with that. And suddenly, we have an opportunity for two in the row. Dell's just confirming my read of straight as a die. In it goes. Sublime scenes. Two on the trot and suddenly we're playing golf. And now just take in this. Albeit that is a disgusting pin. Literally dangling over that front bunker. So I'm aiming 20 feet right to the fat part. Hold it. In the hole. And you can tell that's close from my reaction. It's landed about three feet short right, hopped forward and then spun left, lipped out to here. So no one, but we should clean up for a two. Or not. The dirtiest of lip outs. But I hope you've enjoyed the front nine. Back nine to come next week at the same time. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks ever so much for watching. 